Now, Tom and I are going to frame a wall together, and I want to get into some of the newer codes and things that we have to deal with in the future. So, Tom, maybe we could get that nail gun going. Well, Tom's setting that up. We're going to get into two different types of corners. This is, our tra this is a uh, traditional way that we've always framed corners. While I'm preparing all my pre-cuts, I'm going to build corners. If I have four or five outside, inside corners, this is the way we used to do it in the past. This is a, a three-piece with blocking on the interior. The problem with this corner is when do you insulate this cavity? It's impossible to get there. Now, what we did for a long time is we'd put fiberglass insulation in here to try to get insulation in so that as we built it, but eventually during the course of construction it might get wet, stay wet for a really long time. Not the greatest idea in the world. And you also have to have a lot of blocking. The California corner, which is really a little bit more effective, is the three-piece corner. And they're easy to put together. If you're not using them, this is called the three-piece California corner. Not just does it use less material, but what happens is when you use it in your corner, you don't get that void. This is still accessible to the interior. So you get better insulation on that corner and you get less thermal transfer. So this is a much better way to do that. So Tom, let's just bang this wall together really quick. Make sure that when you're laying out your studs, we want to get them crowned. While Tom's doing that, Talk to you a little bit about the sheathing. You'll notice the green panel on the left-hand side here. That's called zip wall. What they're doing for us, if you take a look at this sheet, a cut off of this sheet, this is your regular structural sheathing. Now the green is 7 16th inch sheathing. If you notice some of the red stuff in the background, that's a full half inch or it could be 5 8 It's either wall or roof sheathing. But what's really neat about it is the fact that this is your weather barrier already applied to your sheathing. Since the sheathing is already has its, its house wrap built into it, we just need to make sure that we get all of the seams in the joints. So that's what we're going to do when we get this wall built. Set it right on your plate line. Tom, just shoot that in and let's throw some sheathing on it. 